From small scale beginnings as a research project within the chemistry department of the University of Cambridge is a technology that's now housed in this building behind me, which many people believe will completely transform the way each and every one of us engages with healthcare in the future. This is Illumina, home to the most technically advanced and comprehensive genome sequencing systems in the world. The division began as an offshoot of the university's contribution to mapping the human genome back in 2003. Illumina developed systems that automate and accelerate the sequencing process, allowing the complete mapping of many of the world's most prominent but least understood genetic illnesses. Something the researchers say means they may even be able to diagnose a client's illness before they exhibit symptoms. Most diseases have a very strong genetic component. Today, doctors look at diseases with what symptoms that they can observe, what measurements they can make, they might do complex imaging, but they can't see the whole story of any particular disease or most diseases. And so what we do with whole genome sequencing is to give them a new way of looking at almost any disease. Cancer is a disease which is mutations of the genome after you've been uh, born. Haemophilia, it's a mutation in the DNA which you actually inherit. Um, but in both cases, rare disease or cancer disease, cancer, a relatively common disease, these are mutations in the DNA. So are you saying this can prevent cancer? Um, very difficult to say we can prevent cancer because you can't prevent exposures to, to, to the agents that may mutate. Whole genome sequencing provides the information to help us understand better all the causes of cancer and also how to detect it much earlier. Since its first system, the Genome Analyzer was launched seven years ago. The company has dramatically sped up and reduced costs of genome sequencing. But it's the group's latest innovation that has brought them worldwide attention. In January 2014, the company released their latest machine, the HiSeq X10. This mapping marvel can produce a complete genome sequence for less than $1,000. So Sean, this is an Illumina sequencing system. What does it do? So patient DNA is put onto this flow cell. And in the machine, we have a camera. So patient DNA flowed onto the flow cell, goes onto the machine, and that's where the sequencing happens. Can we take a look? Yep, sure. So the flow cell is placed on the machine. Then we apply a vacuum, and that's it. That's simple. That's simple. The process looks simple from the outside. How far has the technology come? We've simplified the process. We've increased read length, we've increased throughput. At the same time, we've decreased runtime. So instead of taking maybe 10 days to sequence a human genome, with the X10, we can sequence up to 16 genomes in about three days. That's one human genome in less than a day. That's right. Let's leave it to it then. Okay. <laughs> but it's not just the test itself. The company says communicating the information to the patient is essential. And for that, they've tapped into a notably downscale, albeit widespread, consumer tech habit. So this is the iPad app. Let's take a look at it. These are the very results we're diving into for this person's genome. Uh, and we see straight away that there are some three million variants that define this person as different from other people. And those are the ones of interest. So we can go to, to my genome. Uh, we can look at the interpretation summary. And in this case, being a healthy person, there were just five things that turned up on the, on the top line. Mm -hmm. uh, a carrier status for three genetic diseases and predisposition to a disease themselves. The breast cancer mutation, that's a carrier status. That doesn't matter to him, right. but he is a father of two daughters. And so it is perhaps important in the family context to actually go and follow up that variant. Um, here's another interesting one, malignant hypothermia susceptibility. Um, but what it actually describes is a, is a very rare condition, but something that one in 50 to 100,000 adults who actually have an anaesthetic react very badly to it. This could be life or death. It could be. And, 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 and if a doctor really was able to have that information before uh, the patient goes into the operating theatre, uh, then actually it would be possible to avoid a prescription of the wrong anaesthetic and the wrong drug. Sequencing existing illnesses is still in its infancy, but that's why companies like Illumina see it as having the most upside potential, not only for the industry, but also for customers. Clearly we've reached a very important milestone in, in the $1,000 genome. This is an affordable number. It's something which people can afford. It starts to fit into healthcare budgets. Uh, and really many people would be happy to have that one-time investment for their lives and really potentially avoid or minimise their risk of disease. 